Good day, everybody. This is BA Rainy Dawn, and I'm back with what looks to be another Fire Emblem trailer reaction video. Um, I saw who was in the thumbnail. I have no idea who it is. I know that they, um, I know it's going to be a Halloween one. No idea who it was in the thumbnail, so let's do this. Let's see who this is. Dressed in ghastly garb. <gasps> no way! The mm. Ginsia? No freaking way! No freaking way! Oh my god, that is crazy! Oh, he's gonna be so overpowered. And who's that? Is that Ninian and... Who? Well, let's find out. Fall vessel. Oh god, it's another Robin. Okay. Ah. Okay, uh, unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range. If unit's within two spaces of an ally and deals damage to the foe using a special, restores 30% of unit's maximum HP. If foe's range equals two, calculates damage using the floor, foe's defense, and res. So, Moonless Breath is like Claude's bow. But instead of, um, yeah, it's like Claude's bow, but 30% HP instead of 50. And no special trigger, no stat boost, but distant counter. Cool. Noontime, yeah, okay, more HP build. Uh, it's already, he's, the weapon restores 30, I mean, like, like, the breath restores 30%. Why is there noontime? I'd say go Glimmer or go Moombo or something. Uh, neutral dragon scale neutralizes effective against flying bonuses. Okay, if foe initiates combat or foe's HP is 100% at start of combat, attack res minus six on foe, grant special cooldown charge plus one per foe's attack during combat. Okay, that's pretty cool. Dragon's ire, a new inheritable B slot. This will be interesting. If unit's HP is greater than 50% and foe initiates. Neutralizes effects that prevent unit's follow-up attacks, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Cool. That's actually really, really cool. That's a really good B slot. Prepare to be eaten. <laughs> so who's next? Who's this? Autumn Trickster? Zane? What? Zane's in the game now? From Fire Emblem, new mystery of the or mystery of the emblem. Zane? Okay. How to? How's this gonna work? Is he gonna be the demo? Joker's wild. HP plus five. Units. Attack, speed, defense, res equals highest respective stat from among allies within two spaces during combat. So he doesn't have a stat? His attack, speed, defense, and res is equal to the highest respective stat from among allies within two spaces during combat. So let me get this straight. You put him beside a unit that has like 50 freaking attack, he gets 50... Attack, speed, defense, res. What the frack? That's retarded. He's going to be like the beefiest mage in the game. And he's colorless too because he could be... And he's colorless. So he's a colorless mage that literally takes the highest stat that's clo of a unit that's... Of an ally that's closest and just... All across the board. That's freaking... Nuts. Okay. Not a demote. But I don't know how he's going to... This is... I don't know what to think. This is freaking nuts. It's wild. <laughs> okay. <gasps> it's Big Daddy Dragon. Oh my god. Radiant Dawn Degencia. Oh, he's gonna be so cr slick fighter. Ooh. Okay, so. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts attack res minus 5 on the foe during combat, neutralizes foe's bonuses to attack and res. 
If foe's range equals two, calculates damage using the floor, foe's defense or res. Okay, that's not too bad. This is inheritable. Is he gonna be the demote? Is Diginsia gonna be a demote? If unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts attack, res minus five, neutralizes. Blah, blah, blah. He's got a new B slot, but I still think he might be a demote. If unit's HP is above 25% and phone initiates combat, neutralizes penalties on unit during combat, and unit makes guaranteed follow up attack. Okay. So if the enemy attacks, and you have more than 25% HP, he just says, nope, no debuffs. No penalties at all. Just The penalties don't disappear, but they do during combat. So it's not like a it's not like a fallen Ike that reverses them and makes penalties bonuses. This just like cancels out the penalties during combat. That's interesting. Hang on, was he a flying dragon? Was that what he was? No, he's armor. Okay. Now, there's like a duo unit or a resonant hero? I will take my tribute and sweets. Yes, you take your tribute and sweets. Who is Harmonic Hope? Ninian and Tiki? So this is a Harmonic hero. Holy crap. Okay. Frostfire Breath. It's effective against dragons. All dragons. Attack plus three. If a bonus is active on unit, grants attack speed plus six during combat, and also grants bonus to unit's attack equals total bonuses on unit's defense and res times 1.5 during combat. Huh. Attack speed push four with everyone. Okay, so with everyone combined with Frostfire Breath, total... And also grants bonus to units attack gives total bonuses on units defense and res times one and a half. So because it's plus five to both defense and res, that's basically ten. Does that mean that they'll get an extra fifteen attack on top of their six attacks? That's twenty one on top of their attack speed push. It's twenty eight. Are you kidding me? Okay. That's pretty cool. We got a really good dragon unit here. What the fuck was that? Okay, let's see. Harmonized skill. Grants resonance blades. Oh, we've already seen... Oh, no, this is a different one. This just outclassed freaking Mia and Mask Mars resonance skill. So not only do they give the attack speed plus four, they also dance for any unit that's close that's close to them with the highest HP that's already acted and is from the same titles, which actually works. Allies with sing or dance. You could dance a dancer with this skill. As long as the dancer has high HP and is from Blazing Sword or one of the versions of Sh uh, Shadow Dragon New Mystery, it looks like, I believe, right? So which, ver which version of Tiki was this? Okay, I don't want to hear that again. No, I've already looked at the skills. Go back. No, you're still not far enough back. Okay, Mystery of the Emblem. Okay, so they're a Mystery of the Emblem dancer with the highest HP within two spaces, and they've already danced. They can get danced and then dance again for a different unit. That's freaking broken. That is insane. Like, oh my god. And Blazing Blade or New Mystery. I'll have to see if there's any really high HP dancers. Because if so, that's just going to be stupid. Just, excuse me while my one unit dances. Oh, it's just the unit, the, the unit with the highest HP within those two, I think, right? I'm actually going to reread that, because you, you might be able to manipulate it a little bit. It doesn't have to be the unit with the highest HP that's within two spaces, like, out of being all your allies. 
That still sounds stupid. Okay. Let me reread this for a minute. Grants an action with the highest to an ally with the highest HP that is within two spaces. So you dance. So let's say, um, I don't know, Ninian dances for someone. Ninian dances for Elliewood. Ninian stops right on this spot, like with, or within two spaces. You can trigger the harmonized skill. All allies from the same game titles get the attack speed plus four. Ninian will get to dance. Ninian gets danced, revitalized. She can dance another unit again. So I'm hearing um, this will be a good team for um, Resplendent Elliewood, Dancer Ninian, and whoever else you want the third one to be. It doesn't even matter because with Resplendent Elliewood, just Gale Force. And then, so you kill the first enemy, Gale Force. Kill the second, Ninian. Kill the third, dance for Ninian. Ninian dance, Elliewood, kill the fourth. Let's just use one unit to clear out an entire map now, shall we? Because now dancers can get danced. This is stupid. I'm going to be pulling on this banner so hard. I need this, I need this unit. Because I have a collection of every single duo and harmonized hero in the game. So this is going to be nuts. Thank you, Fire Emblem Heroes. We can have a dance, dance, we can dance a dancer now. Are they seriously a flying dancer too? Yeah. Okay, we got a paralog story, but it doesn't look like this is everything quite yet. Who's the... I see someone on the right-hand side. Who is that? Is that Ina? I think that's a Ina. The weird... in Radiant Dawn... It's, Ina's a really weird unit in both Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Path of Radiance, she's a red dragon with actually red dragon stats. In Radiant Dawn, she's a red dragon with white dragon stats. Like, her magic's through the roof, but her strength sucks. She's freaking totally backwards. But I think that's Aina. That's really cool. Zane's the demote? Are you kidding me? He's so good though. He's so good. How is he a demote? We finally get a stupidly good demote. Cause it's like, yeah, hey, you have like, hey, ladle guard, you've got 60 attack. Let me just get 60 to every stat. What the frick? Give him close counter, just watch him slaughter everyone. Just put a, just put him close to ladle guard and just slaughter everyone in your path it's all good the close counter slaughter good so yeah that was freaking nuts that was really really crazy actually i really like that so um yeah degency is awesome i'm glad he's in the game might not end up pulling for him though zane is a must-have zane's on colorless though i'm not sure if there's a five star focus colorless unit but we'll see um, so yeah, Zane's pretty awesome, and he's a demote. He's the four-star, five-star exclusive, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, Degancia is pretty cool. Robin, I don't want to give a crap about. We got way too many Robins, but this Robin's pretty decent, too. But, oh my god, let's dance a dancer, yes! Anyway, uh, so yeah, tell me what you think of this banner. Are you gonna pull on it? Who are you hoping to get? How broken is a dancer that could dance, or a non-dancer that could dance a dancer? How stupid is that? Are you guys excited about that? Are you guys kind of like, eh, I'm not going to like this at all? I mean, it's only good for player phase because you won't be fighting it as an enemy, but still. It's, it's, it's something new that we don't have. Can't complain, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. In the meantime, this is BA Radiant on, signing off. Bye.